Dear students, welcome to today's uh, class. A uh, today concept is cancer. This is uh, one of the deadly disorder we have seen among human population. So nowadays we are seeing many people all over the world they are suffering from cancer and lots of deaths occurred by cancer. So reason is there is no treatment and there is no control measure. So, if it is found out in the first or second stage, only some of the cancers are uh, treatable. But most of the cancer is not having any treatment. So, that uh, now one of the challenging tasks in front of uh, the medical field is identification of proper treatment and control measure for cancer. So, that it is one of the deadly disorder among the human population. So, let us understand about this deadly disorder. So, what is mean by cancer? So, cancer is a kind of disease. So, this disease takes place because of abnormal growth of cell in any part of the body. Clear? So, now let us understand what is mean by abnormal growth and which cells they will grow abnormally. So, normal cell in our body, they exhibit one of the property called as contact inhibition. So, this property is normally seen in all the normal cells. So, because of this property, the normal cell divide normally and they will grow and uh, they can control the uncontrolled growth of the adjacent cells. Clear? So, this is one unique property seen in the normal cell. So, because of this property, abnormal growth does not take place in the normal cell. But this property is not there in cancer cells. So, cancer cells, they have lacked the property of contact inhibition, what we have seen in the normal cell. So, because of the lack of this uh, property, cancerous cell, they divide abnormally and they will give rise to mass of cells called as tumor. So, when the cancerous cell divide uh, without any control, when the, the number of cell division will be more, in the same place, they will form a mass of cell and that is nothing but tumors. Clear? So, uh, the tumors are of two types based on their property. So, one of the tumor is benign and another is malignant tumor. So, let us understand what is mean by benign tumor. So, benign tumors are confined to their original location. That means, if this kind of tumor is formed in any part of the body, they will not spread from one part to another part. Suppose whether they are formed in the uterus, they are restricted to only uterus. They will not migrate to any other part. So, this type of tumors are known as benign tumors. Clear? So, benign tumors are confined to their original location. They will not spread from one part of the body to another part. So, that they will not cause much harm to the body. So, they will cause us little damage. They will not, uh, that means almost 99% of benign tumors are not cancerous tumors. Then, second type of tumor is malignant tumor. So, these kind of tumors are made out of mass of proliferating cells. So, the cells present in the malignant tumor, they can divide rapidly and they can spread easily from one part of the body to another part. So, this is one of the characteristic feature of malignant tumor. So, their cell rate, uh, division rate is more so that they will easily migrate from one part of the body to another part of the body and they will damage the normal surrounding cells. So, if the malignant tumors are present in our body, so they will easily damage the surrounding normal cell. So, these are the properties of these two types of tumors. So, benign tumors are localized tumors. They will not spread from one part of the body to another part. But malignant tumors are not like that. They will easily spread from one part of the body to another part by damaging normal surrounding cell. One of the unique property exhibited by malignant tumor is metastasis. 
so this is the property of tumor cell so because of this property tumor can easily spread from one part of the body to another part so let us see how the tumor will spread so any cell any bit of cell if it is get separated from the tumor it start traveling through the blood so during its journey it will get lodged in some part of the body so wherever this bit of tissue is get lodged in that particular organ it will start forming the new tube tumor cells clear right so this process continuously takes place in our body so that tumor will spread all over the body so metastasis is one of the fearful property exhibited by malignant tumor so because of this property the tumor will easily spread from one part of the body to another part of the body so not all the tumors are cancerous but malignant tumors are uh, cancerous tumors so i have listed here few types of uh, cancer one of the type of cancer is uh, carcinoma so this is the malignant growth of epithelial tissue so epithelial tissue if uh, there is a tumor is forming in the epithelial tissue that is comes under the carcinoma so we have the example of uh, brain tumor breast cancer and lung cancer then sarcoma so this is the malignant growth uh, takes place in the mesoderm region best example we have is bone cancer muscle cancer lymph uh, node cancer then uh, third one is uh, leukemia so this is the blood cancer so these are the three different types of uh, cancer seen in people now next is causes of cancer so we have seen the formation of malignant tumor starts from a single cancer cell a single cancer cell will divide continuously and form a mass of cell that is nothing but tumor so now the question is who will turn the normal cell into cancerous cell this is the question so there are certain agents are present so those agents are responsible for converting normal cell into cancerous cell and finally it lead to tumor malignant tumor so those agents are nothing but carcinogens this is important so carcinogens are the agents they causes cancer they turn normal cell into cancer cell so there are some agents carcinogens are listed here some are physical agents so under the physical agents x ray gamma rays uv rays so these are some of the rays the continuous exposure of body to these kinds of rays will damage this dna so when the dna is get damaged it will changes the normal cell into abnormal kind so that normal cell may turn into cancerous cell so that so you might have heard continuous exposure of body cell into x ray is not good because it will damages dna so it may be one of the reason for the formation of carcinogen cell clear so cancer cell may be formed by continuous exposure of body cells to these kinds of radiations then some of the chemicals present in some substances may also turn normal cell into cancerous cell best example is nicotine in tobacco so nicotine is a kind of chemical in the tobacco so continuous taking of uh, tobacco is not good for health it may causes a uh, lung cancer respiratory related disorder may occur in the uh, this thing person so that uh, the taking of some of the chemicals will also leads to the formation of cancer cells because these are the agents carcinogen agents then one more is biological agents so we have seen physical agent and chemical agent and third one is biological agent so best example is oncogenic viruses so there are certain viruses are present so these viruses are acting as a carcinogens so why they act as a carcinogens they consist of some of the genes called viral oncogens so when these genes are introduced into the normal cell they will convert the normal cell into cancerous cell so that these are the agents for causing cancer 
then one more is uh, some of the in, in some of the normal cell they have identified certain genes so those genes are called as cellular oncogens clear so cellular oncogens are certain genes present in the normal cell so under certain condition under certain condition these genes are get activated and they may lead to the conversion of normal cell into cancerous cell clear right so the oncogenic conversion transformation of normal cell is takes place by some of the cellular oncogens clear right so that in the biological agents we have uh, the viral oncogens as well as cellular oncogens cellular oncogens are the genes present in the normal cell and viral oncogens are the genes they are present in oncogenic viruses so these are the certain car carcinogens they will convert normal cell into cancerous cell so they will lead to malignant tumor then cancer detection and diagnosis so for uh, better treatment cancer should be detected in the early stage itself but if you identify in the last stage the survival of patient is uh, very less because in the last stage the tumor spreads to different part of the body and finally it will lead to death so for uh, successful treatment it should be always detected in the early stage so there are number of methods are used for detection of cancer so some of the methods are uh, i have listed here so one is biopsy and histopathological study so in this method what they will do is they will take out a bit of tissue from the tumor and they will examine those tissue under the microscope so just they will identify whether the cancer cells are present or absent and with the help of uh, histopathology uh, they will also identify some of the behavioral changes in the tissue if the cancer cells are present they will show somewhat uh, different behavior compared to the normal cell so these things are uh, identified by biopsy and histopathology so that based on this they will uh, detect whether the cancer cells are present or absent then a few more methods are blood and bone marrow test so in case of leukemia that means in case of blood cancer they will do blood test and bone marrow test for identification so just they will take the increased cell count to identify blood cancer so these test totally differ based on the kind of cancer whether it is a lung cancer breast cancer or a blood cancer so depending on the kind of cancer the detection test also varies so some of the other techniques are so radiography so in case of radiography they will use x ray to identify uh, the tumorous cell then one more is ct scan ct scan is nothing but computed tomography so in this case they will use x ray to get 3d image of infected organ so if the internal uh, infected organs are examined so that can be examined by using computed tomography because it will give 3d image of infected organ so for studying internal infected organ they will use ct scan then one more technique is magnetic resonance image so in magnetic re resonance image strong magnetic field and non ionizing radiations are used for studying pathological and physiological changes in the living tissue because if the living tissues are infected if they are cancerous they will show somewhat different behavior compared to the normal cell so this entire information can be studied with the help of magnetic resonance image they will completely show the image on the monitor so that you can study better in the magnetic resonance image about cancerous cells so these techniques are very helpful to study uh, most of the internal organs if they are uh, infected with the carcinogens then few other methods are so they will also use antibodies 
against the antigen for detection of cancer because uh, any foreign agent in our body against that our immune system produces antibodies so one more method they will use for the identification of cancer is presence of antibody respect to antigen then techniques of molecular biology is also used for the detection of uh, cancer so in this case what they will do is just they will identify whether the cancer causing gene is present in the body or not so this is very helpful to prevent the disease in future so because we are identifying the gene in the earlier uh, that means before getting the disease so that it will somehow help to prevent the disorder in future because some of the cancerous genes are inherited from the parents also so uh, in such a cases those kinds of cancers can be prevented by the early detection in this way so best example uh, if the tobacco uh, tobacco smoke is causing cancer lung cancer so it can be prevented by advising him to not to take nicotine so by this way some of the cancer can be prevented so these are the different uh, methods they are using to detect cancer different kinds of cancer yes next is treatment of cancer cancer can be treated in the earlier stage because the tumor does not spread to different part of the body so in the earlier stage treatment will be successful in most of the cases so for giving treatment they will follow different uh, methods so some of the methods are uh, surgery then uh, radiation therapy and immunotherapy so in case of surgery they will remove the infected organ or infected part from the body say for example you take breast cancer so in case of breast cancer the breast is the infected organ initially breast is get infected tumor is formed in that particular organ so that they will remove the breast so that the tumor does not spread to other part so the patient can be survived by this way so surgery is one of the method followed for giving treatment then one more is radiation therapy so in case of radiation therapy they will use radiations to kill only cancerous cell so they will not target normal cells here so by protecting the normal cell just they will focus on cancerous cell so cancerous cell are uh, lethally eradicated by the radio therapy then a uh, one more uh, treatment method is chemotherapy so in case of chemotherapy different kinds of drugs are used for killing cancerous cell so mainly targeted cells by the drugs are cancerous cells so that the these chemicals they will target on the cancer cell they will not arm to the normal cells of body but majority of the drugs have used for uh, giving uh, treatment they cause a side effect like uh, air loss is very common so patient will become bald while he is taking uh, chemotherapy then uh, anemic the patient will become anemic he will become very weak of uh, by continuous taking of uh, chemotherapy so uh, these are the few side effects commonly seen in the patient and most of the cancers are treated by the combination of surgery radiotherapy and chemotherapy so by following all the three also they will uh, give treatment to certain cancer then one more treatment method is immunotherapy so in case of immunotherapy they will boost immune system so that our immune system started uh, fighting against the cancerous cell so in this case they will give alpha interferons so these are uh, proteins alpha interferons are nothing but proteins which activates immune system of the patient so that when the immune system will boost up it uh, try to destroy the tumor cells so this is a uh, one more uh, kind of treatment used for uh, treating cancer yes there are uh, different methods we have uh, studied there are different cancer treatment method one is uh, radiotherapy surgery immunotherapy then chemotherapy so all these are the different methods followed for giving proper treatment to the patient